Hi, welcome to lesson one of the Encore Music Notation software tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to cover some of the very basic concepts of how to enter notes onto the score using Encore. There are quite a few ways to do that, and it turns out that uh, I'll cover those in some of the later tutorials. But in this tutorial, I just want to cover some of the basic ones. So when you start Encore fresh, it looks like this. You'll see the grand staff, and you'll see the little place where there's some notes selected here over on the left. The first thing I like to do is come up to here, to the just to the right of the magnifying glass, and change the size of the score on the screen. So I go to where it says Fit Width, and so it makes something that's a little more readable. And then the next thing I do is I come over to here to where I can pick some notes that I'm going to put on the score. This thing that I just highlighted is called a palette, and there are several other palettes in the program that allow you to do other types of things, but this is the main one. So using the mouse, I'm going to just select a half note, put that on the score. So it always starts at the beginning of the measure, and then there's, if there's nothing else in the measure, and then allows you to put notes there. I'll put another half note up here, and then one over here in this measure, and one down there in that measure. Uh, and maybe continuing on, I'll put one here. And then I'm going to grab another type of note off of the palette. I'll put a couple of quarter notes in the bar. and then switch back to a half note. And I got the note that I didn't want, so I'm going to go up here. This is the toolbar, and there's a little picture of an eraser. So I'm just going to grab the eraser and come down here and erase the note, and then go back up here to get another half note. Again, select the half note, and this time put in the F. And the way that this piece is, it's a piece by Bach, and I want to make sure that I'm playing it correctly, so I'm going to put in an eighth note rest, so I pick the eighth note rest off the palette and position it here, and then stay with eighth notes now, so I select, instead of the rest, I select the eighth note, and then the notes go here, so it's a G, F, E, and it'll beam the last two, and then I'll end with a half note and I'll put it on the first beat of this bar. So that's the, the basic theme that I've created for this piece. Uh, I didn't create it, but Bach did, and I just entered it on the notation uh, on the score here. And so we can then listen to it, and the way you do that is by going up here to the arrow tool. And the arrow tool is a way to position the insertion cursor either here in this bar or here or here or any anywhere else on the score and then listen to music from that point on or actually to insert things uh, in the score from that point on. So I'm going to listen to this piece now just by pressing the space bar which is also an alternative to pressing the arrow key to start this. So the space bar is a nice shortcut. So here's what the piece sounds like. All right, that's not exactly what Bach had in mind. There was a note that it's different uh, in the actual piece, and so it turns out it's this C over here that instead of it being a C natural, it's a C sharp. Well, that's there's no problem I have in the palette. I've got the ability to grab a sharp, so I just click on the sharp, and then I come over to where the note is, and I just click on the note head, and it now makes that a C sharp. So if I want to listen to that, then again, I can come up here to the arrow key. Uh, I'll play it from the second bar on. So I can do the same kind of thing with a flat if I needed to or any of the accidentals. I can select any of these type of notes. Uh, I can go through anything I want to uh, in the rests as well. Down here at the bottom there's a 3 colon 2. That has to do with triplets, quintuplets. I'll talk about that in a future lesson that's very straightforward, but I'm just going to save time here now and uh, just continue on and talk about a few more things. So I talked about one of the shortcuts being using the spacebar instead of this play forward arrow. Well, 
there are a couple of other shortcuts that are worth knowing about right at the beginning, and there are many that I'll talk about later on. But one of them is this little arrow key that you can select it using the letter A on the keyboard. So if you just press an A, it'll give you the arrow. And if you press it again, it gives you the pencil. And so I'm just going to go back and forth. I'm just pressing the letter A to go back and forth between the arrow and the pencil. Well, the, the arrow, select A, is where you can position the cursor, as I've already described. The P, the pencil, or also abbreviated with a shortcut of P, when you could go back and forth using the letter P, the pencil's where you write the notes. So if I decided then in this piece of music that I wanted to have in the bass clef, if I wanted to have a whole note there and a whole note here, then I'm using the pencil tool. And you might notice that there are a bunch of ledger lines that show up in the notes. That's helping you to position which note you're going to be using uh, when you use the, the pencil tool. So if I continue on in this piece, I'm going to go and select another half note and then a couple of quarter notes. Now at this point, you're probably saying, this is crazy if you have to keep going back to the note palette to get notes. Well, it turns out that there's easier ways to do that. And I will be explaining that in a future lesson when we talk about some more of the shortcuts. But let me finish writing the bass clef part here. And of course, that's going to be a C sharp. So I want to grab the sharp from down here and put it on the note. So I'm OK. And then I'm going to scroll down a little bit so we can see more of the score. And we will then take another half note, put it down here on the D, and then a half note on the A. And then we'll end the initial theme with a half note there. Another thing you can do with the notes is you can stack them on top of each other and make a chord out of the notes. I'm going to do that here. I'll make a D minor chord at the end and we'll get that done. So now we'll go back to the arrow tool or in this case I'm just going to use the letter A. So we come back here, uh, go to the beginning of the piece and press the space bar and listen to our composition. So that's some of the basic stuff. Uh, we will be covering a lot more of the ways to enter notes under the score and a lot of other things that you can put on the score later on. Uh, if you want to take a further look at some of the future lessons, go to my website, which is listed here. And if you want to know more about the Encore product, go to the Passport Music Software website also. So I'll see you in the next lesson.